What's up guys, this is iTweaks here with iPhoneHacks.com and today I'm going to be showing you how to update your Apple Watch software. Now it's actually really simple to do and you don't do it on your Apple Watch itself, you do it within the Apple Watch app on your iPhone. So you can see right here if we go ahead and swipe over and then open up our Apple Watch app, all you want to do is just swipe down here to general and then we're going to tap on software update. So you can see right here it's going to check for an update and it should find one here and then once it finds it then we can go ahead and initiate that update. Alright, so it's found the update, so we're just going to tap on download and install. So I go ahead and agree to this, and then it says passcode is required, and you'll see right here on my watch that the passcode is required. So we'll go ahead and try to open that up, type in our passcode right there. Actually, this is my passcode, not that. And then you can see right there that you get a little prompt on your Apple Watch. So it says software update to proceed with this update, enter your passcode. So just tap on proceed since we've entered our passcode here. And then you can see if we type it in one more time, it should go ahead and start to download that update. So we're going to tap on close right here. And then you'll see on the phone that it's actually going to start downloading that update. So once it's done preparing, you can see right here that you get a little pop-up that says installation has paused. To install the update, make sure that your Apple Watch is connected to the charger and it is charged at least 50%. So let's go ahead and do just that. So I'll just grab my charger here and plug this guy in. So now it's charging and it should already be over 50%. And we can check that just by swiping up here. So yeah, we're at 51%, so it should go ahead and install the update. And we're just going to tap install rather than waiting that 30 seconds. Now once the update actually starts to install, you'll notice you'll get a progress bar on your Apple Watch, and you'll also notice that your device will reboot probably a couple of times. And that's all there is to it. Once it's done, it'll go ahead and boot right up, and then you can use your device. So it's a really simple way to update your Apple Watch. All you have to do is just jump into the Apple Watch app on your iPhone and then start that process. So let me know what you guys think about this video in the comments below. Of course, if you enjoyed it, then make sure you hit that like button. If you guys want to see more of my videos, then go ahead and subscribe. All right, guys. Until next time. Peace.